Whether you're working out your weekly household budget or planning for retirement, it is important to create a strong financial plan that is especially important in avoiding a personal financial crisis. The team at Apprise and Financial Advocates can help you do this and so much more. Consumer Credit Counselor Janet Harrison is here with advice that we can all follow. Janet, so nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. And I've spoken about this before, and we were just talking about it again, how you folks are seeing so many people who need counseling advice that never needed it ever in their lives. Correct. With the economic times that we're in, a lot of people are really struggling with their finances right now. Um, so it, at the beginning, it seems so overwhelming. But if you can break it down into some steps that are manageable, it seems a little bit less overwhelming. And then you can come through that feeling a whole lot better about the progress you're making. And that's how you can help folks. You help them outline those steps. And you say there are uh, basic steps and something you call a SMART guideline. Sure. Think of the word SMART, and it will help you... Uh, uh, remember what you're trying to do. You want to think about goals. What do I want to achieve? Uh, short-term or long-term goals? Your short-term goals need to feed into your long-term goals. So you want to make your goals very specific, um, very measurable, very attainable, very relevant to what you need, and very timely. So like, for example, let's say I was saying I need to buy a car in two or three years. Mm -hmm. So I want to begin the process of saving for that car so that when I uh, purchase that car, I will have enough of a down payment that the monthly budget is small, uh, fits into my budget. Mm -hmm. So for example, I might decide now to pull $50 out of each paycheck that I get and begin to save it. That's very specific, it's very measurable, and you have a time frame of exactly how long you're going to do it. Your short-term goal is to save $50 per paycheck. Your long-term goal is to save uh, $1,200 a year if you, you're you, getting paid every two weeks. You make it sound easy in a way, but I suppose that's how you have to start so that people... You give folks something that they know they can do to sure. see results. Break it down into very specific steps and have it measurable so you can see exactly where you're going. What if you have someone, though, who's already in deep trouble? Either their, their debt is so overwhelming that they might even sure. have to foreclose on their home. That's something that, yes, you need a quick solution to that. Absolutely. And here at Apprise and Financial Advocates, also known as Consumer Credit Counseling Service here in Columbus, Ohio, uh, we offer a variety of services, everything from a debt repayment, budget counseling, foreclosure counseling. We've developed a housing help center to deal with the foreclosure crisis, bankruptcy counseling. All of our services are geared to help consumers get back on track with their finances. And you have a website where people can go to find all those services, maybe decide if it's right for you, and to recognize that you are a reputable organization. Because that's the sad part, too. People get in trouble, and then they go to the wrong people for help. Correct. At apprisen.com, you can go to that website. And not only um, does it tell about our organization, but there's a lot of good uh, uh, learning information on there that you can pull out through our learning center, very helpful tips on financial management, and all those ad information is geared towards helping you get back on track. You also gave me a few other tips, and some of these are track expenses and create a monthly spending plan. And it takes work to do this. Absolutely. As a financial counselor, if I can talk a consumer into for a short period of time, any time you spend money, write it down. That includes going to the vending machine and getting a can of pop, buying a pizza on the way home, putting gas in your car, how much you're actually spending on food. If you actually start writing down every time you spend money and then go back and categorize those uh, numbers, you'll know exactly how much you're spending each month on those items. And are people always shocked? And, oh, I have no clue. Because I was they have so no much idea time. what they're uh -huh. spending on variable expenses. We know our fixed expenses, our car payments, our cell phones, things that stay the same every month. But our variable expenses, we really think we know where our money goes, but in reality we don't. So if we take the time to write it down for a short period of time, 30 days is ideal because that would set your monthly budget then. Mm -hmm. You would then know exactly what those numbers are. You can actually plug them into a written budget that you need to start doing every month and looking at every month. And then the, the, for me personally, when I did this, I realized I was spending way too much money in eating out. Mm -hmm. And that's I think something that's probably, I could change. You're, you're, yes. you're in your car. It's easy to go, go through the drive through you know, easier than we... And the other thing <laughs> with your monthly budget is you want to not just do it once and then stick it in a drawer. That doesn't do you any good. Put it someplace where you can see it. My monthly budget's on my refrigerator, so it good helps reminders. me stay on track. And I revisit it every month because... 
monthly our finances change based on events that happen, in, in, income increases or decrease in income, whatever. Well, Janet, thank you so much for all these tips. And the website's been up there, the phone sure. number as well, so hopefully folks will contact you if they need your help. Thank you so much. Thank you.